Unit 14, International Organizations. Part A, Reading, page 152. The Red Cross is an international humanitarian agency. In times of war, it is dedicated to reducing the sufferings of wounded soldiers, civilians, and prisoners of war. In time of peace, it gives medical aid and other help to victims of major disasters such as floods, earthquakes, epidemics, and famines. The initiative for founding the Red Cross came from a Swiss man called Jean-Henri Dunant. Appalled by the almost complete lack of care for wounded soldiers, he appealed to the leaders of nations to found societies devoted to the aid of the wounded in wartime. A conference was held in Geneva in 1864, and official delegates of 12 nations signed the first Geneva Convention, laying down the rules for the treatment and protection of the wounded and the disaster-stricken. It was also at this meeting that the famous symbol of the organization, the white flag bearing a red cross, was adopted. It was Henry Davison, president of the American Red Cross War Committee, who proposed forming a federation of these national societies. An international medical conference initiated by Davison resulted in the birth of the League of Red Cross Societies in 1991. In November 1991, it became the International Federation of Red Cross. The Federation's mission is to improve the lives of vulnerable people who are victims of natural disasters, poverty, and health emergencies. The International Red Cross has its headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland. Today, the total number of National Red Cross societies from all over the world has mounted to 186. So help and support are able to be rapidly sent to wherever there are victims of catastrophe, for example, to the victims of Asian tsunami in 2004. Red Cross and Red Crescent National Societies in the countries hit by the tsunami reacted without hesitation to help those struggling to survive, despite the fact that many staff and volunteers had lost families, friends, colleagues, and livelihoods. For example, the Indonesian Red Cross headquarters in Banda Aceh was washed away, but a temporary office was in place within hours, and the injured were being helped. Task 1. Listen to the first part of the passage and circle the best answer, A, B, C, or D, to the following questions. In 1945, leaders from 51 countries met in San Francisco, California, and organized the United Nations, often called the UN. World War II had just ended. Millions of people had died, and there was destruction everywhere. People hoped they could build a future of world peace through this new organization. The United Nations has four main goals and purposes. 1. To work together for international peace and to solve international problems. 2. To develop friendly relations among nations. 3. To work together for human rights for everyone of all races, religions, languages, and of both sexes. 4. To build a center where nations can work together for these goals. Task 1. Listen to the first part of the passage and circle the best answer, A, B, C, or D, to the following questions. In 1945, leaders from 51 countries met in San Francisco, California, and organized the United Nations, often called the UN. World War II had just ended. Millions of people had died, and there was destruction everywhere. People hoped they could build a future of world peace through this new organization. The United Nations has four main goals and purposes. 1. To work together for international peace and to solve international problems. 2 to develop friendly relations among nations. 3. To work together for human rights for everyone of all races, religions, languages, 
and of both sexes. 4. To build a center where nations can work together for these goals. Task 2. Listen to the second part of the passage and fill in the missing words. Today, almost every country in the world is a member of the UN. Each country has signed an agreement that says, All members are equal. All members promise to solve international problems in a peaceful way. No member will use force against another member. All members will help the UN in its actions. The UN will not try to solve problems within countries except to enforce international peace. Obviously, the United Nations has not been completely successful in its goals. There have been several wars since 1945. However, the organization has helped bring peace to some countries that were at war. It has helped people who left their countries because of wars. It has helped bring independence to colonies. Task 2. Listen to the second part of the passage and fill in the missing words. Today, almost every country in the world is a member of the UN. Each country has signed an agreement that says, All members are equal. All members promise to solve international problems in a peaceful way. No member will use force against another member. All members will help the UN in its actions. The UN will not try to solve problems within countries except to enforce international peace. Obviously, the United Nations has not been completely successful in its goals. There have been several wars since 1945. However, the organization has helped bring peace to some countries that were at war. It has helped people who left their countries because of wars. It has helped bring independence to colonies. Part C. Listening. Page 156. Listen and repeat. Destruction. International. Organization. Colonies. Independence. United Nations. Part C. Listening. Page 156. Listen and repeat. Destruction. International. Organization. Colonies. Independence. United Nations. Part E. Language Focus. Page 159. Intonation. Practice reading the following sentences with the following tone. 1. The World Wildlife Fund was established in 1961. 2. A small country is equal to a large country in the UN. 3. What does WHO stand for? 4. How many goals are set by the UN? 5. What do you think of this situation? 6. Don't go away. 7. Come in and sit down. 8. Hurry up, it's late. Part E. Language Focus. Page 159. Intonation. Practice reading the following sentences with the following tone. 1. The World Wildlife Fund was established in 1961. 2. A small country is equal to a large country in the UN. 3. What does WHO stand for? 4. How many goals are set by the UN? 5. What do you think of this situation? 
Six. Don't go away. Seven. Come in and sit down. Eight. Hurry up. It's late.